Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you swatches of every single one of my MAC lipsticks. I'm super excited to post this because lip swatch videos are like easily my favorite thing to binge watch on YouTube. They're just so like, ugh. I don't know, something about them is so satisfying to watch. I freaking love them. And I also feel like I can't purchase a lipstick anymore without looking at lip swatches because I wanna see how it looks on different people, especially people that have a similar skin tone to me because if you have not realized this already, lipstick can look completely different on you compared to your best friend, compared to your sister, compared to anyone else that has even a slightly different skin tone than you. So obviously not all of you are gonna have my skin tone and I still hope this is helpful for you to get a general gist of the color, but that's why I'm gonna include both arm swatches and then actually swatches on my lips. So I'm gonna talk through all of the different lipsticks with swatches on my arm, but then I will put in like an overview of me applying applying the lipsticks so you can actually see it on my face. So then you get the best of both worlds and you can really see the true color of these lipsticks and then how they look on someone with a skin tone like me. So I already swatched all of the lip shades. My lips hurt right now. I actually used coconut oil to take them off in between each Mm, application so that helped a lot to moisturize them but normally I never have like cracked dry lips ever and today for some reason I do and of course I choose to film this video on this day so I had like a little spot on my lip that was like pulling up and lifting but just ignore that if you can okay so yes I already filmed all of those swatches and I will definitely say obviously this collection for me has grown over a couple of years it's not something I purchased all at once and there's some shades I'll tell you guys which ones that I would not purchase today if I were to purchase now and there's shades that I prefer when I'm fair shades I prefer when I have self tanner on I'll talk through all of that so if you guys want to see my entire Mac lipstick collection and swatches of all of them then stay tuned before we jump into it it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. I post two new videos every single week. Also, don't forget to click the description box below because I will have links to my blog, my podcast, and my Instagram. I post content there on one of those platforms every single day, so you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, let's jump into the video. Okay, let's get my pasty arm in here. I feel like I'm gonna have to start like up here. I probably am gonna. So I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest. Why am I leaving this on? For me to then like rub my cardigan through lipstick after, no. Okay, so I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest and talk through each of these shades. So the lightest shade that I have is called Yash and this is a matte shade. I hope you guys can see this okay. <laughs> so this is a really, really nice nude for me. It's got a slight like pinky beige undertone and I personally don't like to go any lighter than that because it just looks too stark and like scary and milky on my lips. So this is either a great shade by itself with a gloss over top of it or to put in the center of your lip if you're wearing a darker shade. I always love to put a gloss on top of a really light nude like this because again, it just kind of makes me look dead if I don't otherwise. So especially because it's a matte, I really like that with a glass. Next is Modesty. This is what I have my brides wear. I do freelance bridal makeup. It's just seriously so stunning. I need to like bring this up. Mm -mm. So this you guys can see is slightly pinkier and purplier than Yash. And this is actually a cream sheen. Is it creme sheen or cream sheen? We're gonna call it creme sheen because it sounds fetchier. So this is a creme sheen. It's got a nice sheen to it without it being too glossy or anything like that. And yes, yeah, similar but different. Seriously, it's different. Next is MAC, MAC, duh, these are all MAC, is Viva Glam 5. So this shade is a luster. And honestly, it's like almost the perfect mix of these two shades. It's just got a like slightly metallic-y finish with also a glossy finish to it as well. I don't ever really wear this by itself anymore. I used to, it just is not the most pigmented, even though it kind of looks pigmented here, but when it's on my lips, it doesn't show up a ton. So this would be a great topper for Yash or something like that, just like a matte nude. Next we have Creme de la Femme. So this is a frost and it's a very purpley pink. And it's something that I would not purchase today if I were to be purchasing lipsticks. 
I mean, I just got it when like the frosty metallic lip was back in, which was a while ago. I'm gonna date myself on that. And it's definitely a fun shade, but not when I'm fair. Like it's fun when I have a nice tan. If I were to use this now, it would just be mixing with other shades. Like that would be fun to mix with modesty. That would look pretty together. I think if you have really dark skin, that would be like stunning on you. Okay, next is just a fan fave. It's Velvet Teddy. I also dropped this and it's just like, ugh, so messed up. So Velvet Teddy is, ugh, it's just so beautiful. So this is a matte as well. You can see it's just like the darker sister of Yash. It's just a really pretty warm toned like brownie beige. Gorgeous. But my arm is sore. <sighs> I shouldn't have done shoulders this morning. Okay, next. We have half and half. So this is an amplified lipstick. Love this one. It's very similar to Velvet Teddy, but it's just got that like luster finish. So it's a bit shinier in appearance on the lips and the color is still slightly different. I don't know, this just is more beige than Velvet Teddy, which is just a little bit more warm toned. So I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now in combination with a different lipstick, which I will tell you guys when I get to that. Next is Spirit. Spirit is a satin lipstick. This is actually a beautiful nude on me in the winter when I'm fair. So you can see like we're in very similar families here. I would just say they obviously all have slight differences and do you need all of them? If you're not obsessed with makeup, absolutely not. But I'm obsessed with makeup so I need them all. Okay. So this is the deepest of these three and it's definitely more like pinky I would say than a Velvet Teddy or the half and half. So I would say this is more warm, beige, pinky. Okay, my arms, you guys, wow. Next is Hot Gossip, and this is a creme sheen. So this is just a nice glossy looking bright, but light pink, so it's not like deep. This is probably another one I would not purchase now if I were to purchase lipsticks today, just because I don't really ever leave shades like this on. I'll like think it's gonna be fun and put it on, and then I end up switching it out for something more neutral. So definitely a fun shade. I for sure prefer shades like this when I'm tan. It just looks like a little too much with my skin tone like this. I don't know, in my opinion. Some people just look beautiful in shades like this, but... <sighs> okay, next we have one of the Patrick Star lipsticks in the shade Mama Star. I wore this to its death a couple summers ago in mixture with the Buxom Gloss White Russian. That combination with a juicy tan or dark skin. Oh. So that is Mama Star. It's definitely the warmest, most like terracotta type shade out of all of these so far. It really is so beautiful. And that's what I have underneath mixed with half and half. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to say, that is a satin. Next we have Cream in Your Coffee, which is a creme sheen. And this is similar to Mama Star, but a little more purpley. And it's just got a glossier finish. Oh, this is giving me life. This is really making me happy. So I really, really love that shade. Next we have Fast Play. This is an amplified lipstick. This is more pinky and purpley than any of these. You can see again, they're like similar, but it's just got a little bit more of a punch to it. I freaking love Fast Play. That's one that I always recommend to people if they're like, I have nudes, I want something different that's like a little more berry or something like that, but they're not like super crazy experimental with lipstick shades. I'm like, go for Fast Play. That's a really fun one. Okay, next we have Twig, which is a satin. This <laughs> is very similar to Fast Play. I'm like, can I see a difference? I can on my arm. Um, this is just a little more purpley. I don't know, it's got like a little bit more magenta vibes, which I feel like is not picking up in the viewfinder. But here it is. This one's just slightly more brown. This one's slightly more purple. Again, do you need both of those? Only if you're obsessed like me. And then, you guys are gonna be like, are you kidding? This is Mare. This one is <laughs> really, really similar to those two as well. I didn't realize, I just like, I used to live right by a Mac store where I could like walk up and walk home. It was dangerous. So I was in the habit of buying new lipsticks all the time. And this one I tried on, like not realizing how similar it was to these two, but it's still really pretty. And this one's matte, so it's different. So this is Mare. <laughs> I can't. That one's so similar. That's Mare. But you can see, okay, there's like slight, slight differences between them. And then the finish is different. So 
<laughs> okay, then we have Craving. This is an amplified lipstick. This is one I would not repurchase because I just never wear it. It looks so beautiful swatch. Like it's just a nice punchy pink. It's like hot gossip, but deeper and richer. And it's so beautiful. It's like a berry tone. I think if you have deep skin or tan skin, that would look stunning on you. I mean, obviously if you have fair skin too, but I personally just don't like how it looks on me. Every time I swatch it, I am in love with it. But when I put it on my lips, like with a look like this, it's like, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. So I never really wear it. That's something that now I would just mix with one of these lighter shades to have like a pinky lip that is lighter and not so deep. Next, we have Brick Olay, which is an amplified lipstick. I freaking love this lipstick. So it's definitely like similar in the like darkness level as craving is that what that one was called you guys my memory yes but it's just more wearable because it's just a slightly more like reddish terracotta shade and i looked on the website and this is actually i think described as a berry which confuses me and it's like i see it when it's sitting here how they would say that but when i put it on myself it looks more red which you guys can obviously see so that's like a nice muted red lip for me if i don't want to have like a red lip and last but not least is the shade Retro. This is a satin and it's the deepest shade in my collection. Oh, so pretty. What I love about this one is again, this is like a red on me. That's kind of like my version of a vampy lip. That's as dark as I like to go, especially in the winter. Otherwise it's just too scary on me. But I like that it has like a nice brown tone to it. So it's not too like cool tone red. It's not too orangey red. It's just like a wearable red. And again, here it kind of looks berry in the viewfinder, but on me, when I wear it, it looks more like a vampy deep red, so. Those are all the swatches, you guys. My shoulders, I can't feast your eyes. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments below if there is a shade here that you now want to try because of this video or if there's a shade that you think I need in my collection because obviously, based on some of the similarities here, you know I can't say no to a good MAC lipstick. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and let me know also if you guys enjoy these lip swatch type videos. I will definitely do more. I have other collections of different brands that I would be happy to do for you guys. Again, they're my favorite video to watch. They're just so fun. So anyway, make sure to stay tuned for the end for some beautiful bloopers because <laughs> by the end of this, you guys, I feel like I looked like half Miranda Sings, half Harley Quinn. Yeah, I mean, if that gives you an idea. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. But otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days. And until then, I hope you guys have a great few days. I just put coconut oil on this to help remove it. I mean, I found my Halloween costume. Lipstick.